Hey, what's up, guys? So I'm um, gonna get, show you guys some of the new features on the new update for the DJI Osmo Pocket. Gonna open up the DJI Mimo app. Before activation, download DJI Mimo from the, the App Osmo Store. Pocket to the phone. And then I'm using an Android device. This is a Galaxy Note 8. And first off, it's gonna be in video, photo. You can see all of this on the side on the right bar. Um, let's just start with the very bottom time lapse. So with the time lapse, you can see um, you can set it for the shutter here. Um, most of the important ones are gonna be here. Interval, duration, path. You can see you can set it for us um, as low as every three seconds or as long as every 60 seconds. Um, you can set the duration for infinity or five minutes, 10 minutes, um, you know, up to like 300 minutes. And then the path, you can select different path um, for that, you know, time lapse to follow. So that's pretty neat. Um, that's a pretty cool feature. And then when I go over here into the settings, you got pro mode and basic. Let's see if you're in basic and then you have this. Um, you get the same thing in basic. Then we got slow motion. When you're in slow motion, it crops in four times. So it zooms in. Um, I wish it didn't zoom in, but it is what it is. And go back over here, pro mode. And then you got these features here, histogram, overexposure, grid, anti-flicker, white balance, just your typical um, camera settings. Gonna go to video mode. This is what a lot of people would want to see. Once again, we we are in pro. So let's put it back into basic so you guys can see what modes or what features you get in basic. This is what you get here. Simple um, settings for resolution, frame rate, and quality. But if you put into pro mode, it gives you more options now. So you can see 1080, 4K, but now you have six different uh, frame rates to choose from. I would probably use 60 the most, but I know a lot of people will probably either use 20, uh, 24 or 30, but I like to do a lot of faster moving shots, so I think 60 will probably be just good. And then you get the quality, fine, and super fine. So I can't really pick super fine in um, this one, so I'm gonna do fine. Um, so if I do 30 frames per second, I can do super fine. But that's what you get right here, this little warming, uh, this little warning message or tip. Shooting in super fine is gonna cause a camera to heat up. So that's gonna probably take more power from the camera and maybe reduce runtime too. And then here, 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 here. I'll put it back at 60. And then we got the auto settings here for the camera. You can do auto or you can do manual. And you can just manually set the ISO shutter um, by yourself. Um, this one you can't. But you can see you can just change the shutter. Depending on, you know, what you're trying to achieve. But you can see it's not that bad. It looks pretty good on the screen. And then if I turn off uh, the pro mode, put it back into basic we lose all of those fancy features. And next up, we got photo. In photo, you can set the timer here of when you want the pictures to be taken, and you just got the manual and auto settings there. And then in pano, you can select between um, the 180, and then you can select you know 180 or that, that um, 360 kind of uh, different look. So you get different options to choose from. I haven't tried this yet, but if it's the same thing as like, for example, the um, the Phantom and the Mavics, it's just gonna take multiple pictures at different angles and give you like this really nice, big, you know, wide shot, which looks pretty cool. And then all that's still the same. And then I'll just leave it to video mode cause that's the one I'll be using the most. So going over here, um, what we have is going to be the little joystick. You can actually move it around and control your gimbal without having to move the gimbal. Or you can just manually, you know, move the gimbal around. Or you can use the joystick here. So 
that's pretty neat. So for example, you have a prop down to a table and you want to look up a little bit, you can just move it. You want to look a little bit to the right, you can put it there. But that's pretty cool. And this is going to be your center. So for example, I move down more of like a flashlight mode and I hit center. The camera will look straight forward. And then this little one over here is going to be selfie. And this actually, I'm holding it far away. Um, let me try to hit center. And yeah, it's dark. You guys can see it's dark, but you know, it looks okay. But I don't want to see myself anymore. So I'm going to hit the other button to turn back around. So another cool thing I noticed here is, for example, if I want to track um, the snowman over here, I could just drag that box, open it. You can see the camera automatically tilts. So if I move the gimbal around, you can see that little green box is going to track that little snowman wearing glasses. So I'm actually moving the gimbal around in my phone, and it tracks pretty quick. And not too bad for being in a dark environment. Hit the little X to close it. Now I'm back to here. Or for example, I just want to, you know, track a star or whatever. Um, I just want to track Hello Kitty because, you know, Hello Kitty looks cool. And it tracks it pretty good. I mean, obviously, the slower you move, um, the easier it is for uh, to track. But if I move it around fast, Let's see if I move it fast and move it around like so. It's still able to detect Hello Kitty over there. So that's pretty cool. And then um, over here, this is going to be your different follow modes. We have a fast follow. So you can see, move it around, it follows fast. Then we have a slow follow. You can see it's more cinematic, so you have cinematic um, shots or more action shots. And this over here, it's going to be the different modes. So right now the tilt is locked, so I can tilt it up and down. It stays the same. I can pan, and then roll and tilt is locked on the axis. This is FPV mode. You can see this is where you get that look kind of dreamy, artsy look if you want to. That's your style. Um, and you can put it back into follow. For example, if I tilt down like this, put my uh, phone and gimbal into the flashlight mode, I can hit the recenter here. And now it recenters itself. So that is pretty cool. Um, I don't think selfie works in flashlight mode, but I'm going to try. Nope, it just looks up. So if you're in flashlight mode, um, selfie is not going to get your face. So that is pretty cool. And then <clears throat> up here, this is the SD card of how much memory you have left. And this is just going to be your uh, battery percentage of how much battery life you have on the gimbal itself. Um, let's see what else do we have on here. Um, there is no feature to uh, format the SD card on here. We just have MOV, MP4, um, white balance, go back. We got the, the volume for the mics. I'll just leave it on auto. Noise reduction on off. Oh, that's up to you guys if you want to use it. We got the grid, overexposure. For example, you can see the light bulbs on the tree is overexposed. So it has that little black rolling on there. I'll turn that off. We got the histogram. You can move it around wherever you want. And then I'm gonna just close that. And then for focus, um, we have different modes. Um, we have the AFC and the AFS. I believe one's gonna be um, autofocus will automatically consistently focus. And then this one down here is gonna be a single. So for example, when you tap on it, it's gonna be focusing one time. So for example, you moved around, you want to focus over here, you would have to tap it again for it to focus. But you can set it for um, consistent focus. So no matter where you're moving it, whatever's inside this little box will probably focus. Um, if that's what I'm thinking correctly. 
And let me see. I'm going to hit the home button. Power on the Osmo on the Pocket. And then we got Remove the universal the ports cover and mount the smartphone adapter. Um, going over here, this is what you can see, what I have recorded so far. Um, my story, the DJI Mimo. You can set all of this. Camera roll. If you have other stuff in there. Connect the mobile device. Oh, this guy keeps on talking. And I'm going to hit the this. Osmo Pocket with the smart. This is going to be the DJI account. For example, all of your videos and pictures that you put on DJI system, this is what you will be seeing right here. Messages, I don't have anything, so that's gonna be blank. This is just gonna be settings. For example, you wanna sign out. Um, you can do all of that stuff um, there. And then there's still no SIM card. I'm oh, no, sorry, SIM card, the SD card format. I don't see that. If you go to more, you got the academy, you got the product page, you can watch DJI's videos. Um, you can go and watch um, videos on the app. You can see how to use some of the features. And you have the manual if you want to read the full manual for the Osmo Pocket. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, that's the video on here um, of the DJI Mimo app for Android phone adapter device. and the DJI. Nothing much, nothing fancy. So hope you guys enjoyed it. See you guys later.